Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is the first lecture to be explained in ISO 9001 2015 edition quality management system requirement. And I will start with the history of this standard. The basis for creating this standard was the UK standard BS5750. And after that, the first standard has been issued at 1987, ISO 9001-1987. And during this time, a series of 9000 standards have been issued. ISO 9000, that was for definitions and 9004 for the quality of organization and that was optional and 9001, 9002 and 9003 were for certification. ISO 9000 series standards, these are a set of international standards on quality management and quality assurance developed to maintain an efficient quality system. This quality system will be applied to any type of industry, to any organization. So it's generic standard or universal standard can be applied to any organization, not specific for specific industries such as ISO, ISO 17 or 25, which is specific for testing and calibration laboratory. 9000 that was for fundamental and the vocabulary. All definitions will be in this standard till now. And 9004, quality of an organization, guidance to achieve sustained success, continuous improvement. 9001 and 2 and 3, these are for certification, but the difference between them in the scope of certification. The scope for 9002 was quality assurance in production and installation. 9003 was quality assurance in final product check or final inspection and test. But 9001 was comprehensive, which covers everything, quality management system requirements, and that was one of the most widely used standards. First issue has been issued 1987, and second issue 1994, third issue 2000. ISO 9001, 2000, and there were major changes at this time from 20 clauses before, now it, it's a, only 8 clauses. And the process-based approach that I will explain also has been added or used in this standard. And the standard replaced 9002 and 9003 standards. Then fourth issue was at 2008, there were minor changes and the last edition was 2015 edition and that will be our training course. From 8 clauses now became 10 clauses and there are major changes and that will be explained in this course.